Hello and welcome to WNC Original Music Episode 96, the Australian Soap Opera Episode. This week, very happy to have Songs of the Folk. They're an acoustic duo from outside of Hendersonville, North Carolina, and they are made up of Tyler and Lauren Kaysen. Formerly known as Swamp Rabbit Railroad, they have been playing since 2010. They've got a full-length album out called Down by the Riverside, and they're working on an EP right now. And they have a new single out, and it is called Nice and Slow, and they have been nice enough to send that to me to play for you now. Here are Songs of the Folk. took off nice and slow Into Bonnie made his home Into Bonnie made his home He drank the golden booze Married this girl from Veracruz And we took it nice and slow We farmed there but only death would grow It's time to leave, so we took off nice and slow. We swam through the Gulf of Mexico. We swam through the Gulf of Mexico. When we finally arrived back through the American side, we took it nice and slow. We made it in the Senate. We made it in a Senate In time we had a son We were ever always on the run But we took it nice and slow They called my man Hodocho They called my man Hodocho The authorities mistook my man for a Mexican crook Hands up, take it nice and Nice and so They drop this guillotine Go take it Nice and slow Can't say I was left all alone Can't say I was left all alone The suit was finally passed I received the inheritance Now I take it Nice and slow different songs come about differently and so that one um was one of the ones that i i guess just sort of came out of nowhere i didn't have much intention of writing the the story of that song um but i i i suppose i started with the music on that one and i had that that sort of descending baseline progression and um, that phrase nice and slow just kind of 
popped in, you know, I'm humming along and that phrase pops in at the end of that. So I thought, well, that would be, that would be cool to, uh, to build a song around that phrase nice and slow. But, you know, what in the world do you, do you build it around? You know, you don't want to sound, uh, you know, sexual or dirty. (laughs) (laughs) That was my first thought. uh, (laughs) Some people might like that though. That was your first thought. All right. That was maybe my third or fourth thought. So um, I'd been reading, uh, and I, you know, don't ask me how, but I'd been reading about um, Confederate soldiers after the Civil War. They would, uh, you know, they were all pissed off, and so they would go um, basically to Mexico, Latin America, Brazil was a big place, uh, and and they would try to colonize areas in those countries and um so i thought it would be you know maybe a a funny somewhat ironic story if there was a confederate soldier who went went to latin america in this case veracruz and 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 he meets a girl and uh then he they end up deciding to move back to america and he's mistaken for for some sort of bad person and uh his his head is subsequently chopped off the gu- guillotine and um you know it's just just a story really you know with with i guess you could you could dissect it and take different themes out of it but you know at the end uh the uh the girl gets gets his inheritance apparently he was he had money hiding somewhere <laughs> So I, I I tied it up and made it a happy ending, you know. It sounds like one of those songs that that like the traditional folk song that is a fictional account or maybe like semi-fictional, but also is is like almost a little history lesson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and exactly. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and that I, just yeah. I really like the wordplay. This is something Tyler does a good bit in his writing. That's really clever is to take a phrase and then turn it into different meanings throughout the song. So. You know, at first he's taking it nice and slow, and then uh, the cop tells him, hands up, take it nice and slow, you know, mm-hmm. like a cop would. And then yeah. at the end, she takes it nice and slow with all the inheritance nice money. The so, oh, yeah, all the different crimes, yeah. the way you could say that. Yeah, so that, that's a lot of fun. Could, yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, that song required a, a a little bit of research, you know, I didn't just know the term Hirocho off the top of my head. Oh, yeah, yeah. What is that? Because uh, you said Confederate Hirocho. Is that what the term for? So that is the term, as I understand it, it's the term for um, just a person from Veracruz, from the city of Veracruz in Mexico. So, and I think they use it. It's sort, it's sort, sort of a cultural, maybe akin to like Southerner, you know. Oh, okay. We use that like Southern food, Southern person, mm-hmm. Southern style. Yeah. Like Yankee or something like that. <laughs> we yeah. did pass Versus. a food truck once called the Harocho food truck or something. We were like, oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever forget? If you never forget Do you have enough time To fill all the debts When you get down to me Ready with a check to be made Just make it out to the one man band Dancing in his own parade Think you wanna confess To what it is you done wrong You would never address How I helped you along Nothing ever is said Cause you don't know what to say Just tell it all to the one man band Dancing in his own In a lonely chateau You're living worse than the poor Seems that you'll never know 
wouldn't open the door Now trouble looks like a guest Leaning on the old balustrade It left no room for the one-man band Dancing in his own parade You fight your way through the crowd You push and shove to make peace You think that by being proud More respect you receive You forgot where you are In the middle of a long cavalcade And at the front is the one-man band Dancing in his own parade Yeah, one man band. Um, that might be my favorite song that I've written. Uh, and I usually I don't really have favorites. I like them all, you know. But um, that song uh, was purely just exploring language and words and. Um, Kind of similar to uh, Arcade, uh, The Man in the Arcade. We were talking about that one. It's kind of like, you know, yeah, there, there are some themes and meaning behind it. But it's, for me at least, it's it's a lot of it is built on just... A poetic uh, mood. <laughs> yeah, a poetic mood, having fun with words. Yeah, yeah. the same um, balustrade and a... Yeah, cavalcade, <laughs> cavalcade, and, and balustrade. These these words that um, uh, uh, that at least I think they sound they sound cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, um, there's some some thematic quality to that song. But I guess I'm just not realizing how many you know. Again, I build this. How many different ways can I approach this phrase sort of thing, you know, this, yeah. this, um, this person of a one-man band or this concept of a one-man band. It's like all this other noise is happening, but he's the one constant mm-hmm. sort of thing. And um, even in a, not sardonic, but sort of a, you know, uh, haha, gotcha sort of way, you know. Um, you know what a one man band has that a lot of other bands don't have? What's that? Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> freedom to play. So I'm going to count that one as one of the three, yes. one of the three <laughs> songs. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to just note everyone that says her. This is freedom. Oh, now you get to watch them eat the chipmunk. Oh, boy. And to 
to the plow Don't you ever look back And to the plow Don't you ever look back And to the plow Don't you ever look back It's a long road a home Living in the middle of a sun scorched land. Your water was black as coal. A remedy, this could be a helping hand. Just a taste will erase your soul, soul. And to the plow, don't you ever look back. And to the plow, don't you ever look back. To the plow, don't you ever look back? It's a long road. Man, a hungry man said, Can you give me some food? I said, Sure, here, take this bone. And suddenly the night it turned into noon. And I realized I was alone. Alone. And to the plow, don't you ever look back And to the plow, don't you ever look back And to the plow, don't you ever look back It's a long road Underneath the judgment tree When I woke You were gone A rattling snake told me I needed something to eat But I figured he was wrong Wrong And to the plow Don't you ever look back And to the plow Don't you ever look back the plow, don't you ever look back, it's a long road said, here am I, I, and to the plow, don't you ever look back, and to the plow, don't you ever look back, and to the plow, don't you ever look back, it's a long road, I hope, it's a long road. recent song um (laughs) p-l-o-u-g-h yeah yeah. um i feel like that spelling is more archaic traditional that's why i like it i wonder if that's one of the words that you know uh a lot of the reason there are words are different from english you guys might already know this is because of uh i think it was teddy roosevelt there was a movement towards that turn of the century turn of the 19th century 
And, uh, but then I think Teddy Roosevelt like really got on board with it and like dictated it throughout the government. The spelling of words and mm-hmm. like, like more how we simple. spell, yeah, like we don't spell humor with an O U, yeah, that sort of thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, ye, like old used to have an E on it, yeah, at the end of it, so like that. <laughs> Didn't he do the daylight savings time too? Or no? Is that, Is that FDR? President? I don't know. Don't, I don't know. put any of this. I think uh, UGH, you know, <laughs> is is more complex than W. Plow. But, you know, I read this author, Andrew Cartmo, and he does these fun books about a vinyl detective. <laughs> and I made a face. Do I have to say that? Uh, I made a, came through a bourgeois face. <laughs> Your paws before you about a vinyl detective. <laughs> That put the parentheses around. Could you just around. hand me my pipe over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's funny, like, I mean, he, like, published in 2017, 2018. He's done, done another one this year. And, like, there's still words that um, that uh, the that British people spell differently and use differently. And mm-hmm. it's pretty cool. But, um, yeah, Hand to the Plow. Uh, that one, I was working on a, a totally different song. And that was uh, sort of a lucky one that uh, through working on this other song, I hit through this I sort of this, I guess you would call it a riff. It's really, it's just a progression, but the, the rhythmic nature of that. Yeah. Um, I was mixing it with the other one. <laughs> I just kind of stumbled upon that is what I'm trying to say. And, and so if I'm playing something I like, I'll just start humming and singing along with it. Maybe it's words, maybe it's not. And that is if I don't already have a phrase or something in mind. And so I just sing that phrase, hand to the plow. Mm-hmm. Don't you ever look back. And I even thought like, oh, yeah, that's, um, that's that seems too cliche. I'm not going to use that. There's, uh, that. That'll change. And it never did because that's what, what the song was supposed to be. Um and really the idea of this this guy and um I guess in a deserted land or, or something, um and uh, uh but there's there the you know, he's he's thirsty, he's he's hungry, should he eat this, you know, should he drink the drink this poison and you know, from the from the snake and you know, um and then at the end I think there's there's a salvation aspect um from uh an unexpected source i guess but yeah that's and just you know the idea of of just you know perseverance yeah uh simple <laughs> perseverance you know yeah. <laughs> and um just you know regardless of your occupation or career or station in life or whatever it might be you know there's just Kind of putting your head down and working through to towards what you want. Yeah, we uh, at one point in our lives lived. We rented a house that had like eleven acres, and we it had a barn and all these tractors. And Tyler grew up in a family that gardened pretty substantially, um, and so he grew up doing that kind of stuff. I grew up in a suburb, and. Uh, so early in our marriage, we taught in the public school and had summers off. So when we lived in this um, place that had all this land and all these tractors, we gardened like three acres of it. And so yeah. um, we definitely have the a big garden. Yeah, it is. It was borderline a farm. Legit. You know, <laughs> I, well, I was going. I was getting. I was going to school and then working part-time at a hardware store where we had to recycle the seed every year. Mm -hmm. So like we couldn't legally sell last year's seed and the owner was very strict about it. So he was like, if do you want this old seed? And it was all kinds of stuff. And then we had free rain, you know, free tractors and all this land hop on a tractor and just (laughs) tear the earth up. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to go to town with that. So I yeah. just I remember, was going to do that anyway. Right. <laughs> so now I, can I got this seed. <laughs> yeah. Our landlord said, because I had never really even pulled weeds. And I remember him saying, yeah, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yeah. And 
I remember also he would say, yeah, you're on the short road now, meaning you're almost at the end of this job or you're almost yeah. done. And so yeah. all these metaphors are, they're very real to us. And we have yeah. these real experiences of like plowing that long row and don't look back, just put your head down and keep working. And but I love that verse, no man who puts his hand to the plow. Uh, and looks, and looks back. back is fit for the kingdom of God. Luke, I think it's oh, yeah. Luke nine sixty three. Yeah. yeah, it's it's very easy um, to look back and not just back, but to look over your shoulder and around and what everybody else is doing, and compare yourself and to feel like, oh, I'm not where I want to be, or I'm don't don't look too far forward in some ways, and don't look back or to the side too often in a way that you're distracted or discouraged but it's to me where we are in our career i just want to kind of put our heads down metaphorically and just plow the row in front of us and do what take the steps that are in front of us and not worry about what everybody else around us has done or is doing or what's in our past or too far in our future but just put your hand to the plow and work and persevere and keep living in that that's your path walk it and uh that's what it means to me right now but it could mean something different to somebody else or probably mean something different to me in two years <laughs> <laughs> yeah that and and that one i wanted it to sound poetic you know and um uh, i think it's i would probably rather be known as a poet than a songwriter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think if you took, I would hope that you could take some of my songs and just read them mm-hmm. and appreciate the, the meter of it. Oh, oh yeah. No, no, don't look more from songs of the folk in just a few moments. Uh, I want to note a couple of things. Uh, the thing I said about freedom, you had to listen to all the episodes to understand that. So that's uh, extra, Motivation for you to go back and listen to the first two uh, episodes with uh, Songs of the Folk. Also, you might have heard Lauren mention something about eating a chipmunk. That's because a cat was eating a chipmunk outside the window. Happens about every third episode. You can find Songs of the Folk at songsofthefolk.com. Also, you can find them on Facebook and Instagram, and there will be links in the show description, of course. You can find the podcast by searching WNC Original Music wherever you get your podcast, or going to WNCOriginalMusic.com or following us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash WNC Original Music and uh, lots of other places you can also find links to in the show notes. This is Chloe Presley. You are listening to WNC Original Music. and beat her down Now she's leaving him like she should She pushed and shoved and beat her down But up to him she stood By running on the 
Running on is, is uh, another story that could be true, and it probably is, but it's not written from our own knowledge of a story. And I always say it's that, um, like, Southern Gothic genre, like Faulkner and uh, Ron Rash and that kind of thing, that's the picture it puts in my head. It's kind of bleak. And um, a story of a woman who's strong and who's fighting her way out of a bad situation and um sometimes running away from something is is a cowardly move and not the right thing to do but in this story it's it is the right thing to do and um, the i like the t- the ending the twist of there's a child at the beginning in her arms in the mother's arms and even though the mother doesn't make it the child makes it out alive so you know, I just think of it as a great kind of mountain. I guess it could be anywhere, but I think of she's running down the mountain. So I think it's a like old Appalachian setting. Yeah, but that, it could still be applied to modern day. You know, a toxic or unhealthy relationship, and she gets out and she doesn't make it, but the child does. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Um, that's one of the songs that. Uh, I had, I had that, you know, because it's just sort of um, Hollis Brown type, dum 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 dum, where it's just sort of a drawn ostinato. I don't know. It's just it's just this pattern that sort of maintains the song, and that's mm-hmm. that's it, you know. And uh, there are a couple moments where I play some different things, but it's mainly that that pattern throughout the song. And so I had that, and I thought, well, here we go. You know, bam, I've got this song. And then 
some, for some reason the story or, or, or the words just evaded me. Like I just, I could, I came up with so many bad lyrics for that song, <laughs> and trying to force them in there. Yeah, and yeah. and it it literally set on my my little uh, recorder at least a year and a half, and every now and then I would just come back to it and see if something just struck mm-hmm. and. Nope. And I come back and nope. And then finally something did running down the mountain and then the, I guess that just launched into the story of it. Mm-hmm. Um But that's how it goes for me at least. Is some songs are easy, some are hard and <laughs> that's, the, that's the nature of it. <laughs> what what do they say art imitating life <laughs> a girl who's uh a... that that song's not about us at all <laughs> a girl who's a singer trying to make it in the world and uh <laughs> playing in the dives <laughs> just trying to make it as a singer 
find our way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that's the whole theme of the song, and I wanted a character that I could relate to, but that was not like me at all. Mm-hmm. And um, so this idea of maybe... Um, you know, she's singing country ballads and honky tonk joints in you know, <laughs> 1987 or something. With a perm, or, you know. Yes, <laughs> she's got a perm, definitely. Yeah. But uh, again, I I love names and and language, and um, I wanted a southern female name. Um, you know, and I went through the litany of. You, know, you hear Annabelle and, and Annabelle folk and music. Annabelle and, mm-hmm. and, and these sort of like these compound names, you know? Yeah. And um, so I was like, Ar- Arabelle. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I like that. I like that. And, you know, naturally I went to Google to see if that was a legitimate name and <laughs> yeah. it's not. So mm-hmm. that's even better. It's, yeah. It's you like made it a legitimate name. made up yeah. a name. That's we wonderful. keep waiting. Yeah. Like, this is my daughter, Arabelle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's my cousin's name. No, I'm waiting for somebody to name their child after the song. Yes. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Yeah. I did have a student, I think, named his dog after him. That's not the same. <laughs> that's pretty close for some people. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's a child. Yeah, start somewhere. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's better than like naming them after Game of Thrones characters. Right. Like <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so that that's that's Arabelle's story but it's also maybe our story a little bit and it's also a lot of other musicians stories you know it is sometimes a very cathartic song to sing mm-hmm. in the right venue yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right before you mentioned the tip jar yeah <laughs> this, just in case you're wondering what the song's about <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, power of heart. Is there Poor old heart. Poor old heart. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a like Huey Lewis song. <laughs> Poor old heart is the only song I've ever contributed to lyrically. Um, we were living in Georgia while Tyler was working on school stuff at UGA, and um, one Sunday afternoon, he just started playing this riff on the mandolin, and I just started humming a melody, and then the words came to me. Um, where oh where have you gone my love and he kind of helped me edit through you know make it a little more poetic and um, I don't know we just sat there and kind of hammered it out we did it we never changed it yeah yeah it happened right then and there that day yeah we had been we were living in this really cool but really small I mean, Smaller like, a, than this. a little bit bigger than this room. Oh, yeah. really? Like and, 1800s. Uh, it, it's the original cabin. tiny house. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was little, this little fireplace, and, and the kitchen yeah. was, like, just a cupboard that opened. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> wooden floors, wooden walls, wooden awesome ceiling. Wooden floors, <laughs> and it just, I think it inspired that riff. And then I think it inspired Lauren's, Lauren's language there. Of, you know, I mean, that's such a beautifully classic... You know, wooden floors. <laughs> what, you know, where have you gone, my love? You know, mm-hmm. that that's a great. It feels very southern, and uh, you know, he says in um, Lewin Davis the movie. I think he says it's never new, but it, or it's always old. And I can't. I'm getting it it's wrong. It's a, a song uh, that was never new and never gets old. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I think it it is one of those songs. Like, do I know this? You yeah. know, it's familiar, it's familiar but new. <laughs> Yeah, it has that kind of plaintive, not the, I guess not the murder ballad tradition, but mm-hmm. some other tradition, like there's just the heartache. Yeah. Not even mm-hmm. that, that sounds too just regular country music. But I, I don't know what you're... No, but it is. It's uh, kind of a yearning feeling. Yeah. 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 A little bleak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, you kind of look like Oscar Isaac. Thank you. <laughs> All right. I think it's the lighting. <laughs> Usually I get Donnie Osmond. No, no. I'll take Oscar Isaac. Yeah. You know, he's a singer too. Have you ever heard his music? Not outside of that movie, movie, but I would uh, listen to it basically. Oh, yeah. On... Of course, he sang in a movie. But he had uh, like some pop songs, sort of pop indie mm-hmm. songs out before the movie. I think that's what helped him get that. I would job. listen to him. Yeah, yeah, well, one of them about. is, I don't know if, because I've heard it. I don't know if it's I heard it so much because when I go to like Pandora and type in like at like the Lewin Davis yeah. station, that song comes up mm-hmm. and it's like not folk music. <laughs> and I'm like, what is this song? I looked and it was him. Huh. But it has a, like, you might recognize it. It was, I don't know if it was a hit, but it's we'll look it up. pretty good. It's, it's a good, it's a good pop song, you know? All right, guys. Oh, I forgot to ask a couple of nonsense questions real quick. Uh, <laughs> do you believe in ghosts? Mm. I believe in the... The possibility of ghosts? Mm-hmm. I don't, but I believe in angels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, like, specifically ghosts. Not... Like spooky ghosts? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or no, like... I don't let myself because I would be too scared of them okay, if I good. did believe in them. That is a great answer. <laughs> we'll, we'll just say no. Yeah. What country best represents your personality, not USA, USA? Well, USA right. definitely does not right. best represent my personality. All right. Um... Hmm. I think it's some sheep herding town. It's whatever town is in um, Waking Ned Divine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is that Scotland? Yeah. <laughs> like remote where they just eat bread and chicken and mm-hmm. walk home from the bar and live their lives very simply. <laughs> so I'll say Scotland for you. Yeah. <laughs> um, man, that is an interesting question. I think I think there's a little bit of a Canadian sentiment in in me in that, um, but then there's also maybe a, a reckless. I can be very um, hmm, harsh in a way. Maybe I am more American than I thought. I uh, <laughs> maybe <laughs> Somalia, maybe not that harsh. <laughs> I think you're reckless. Oh man, let's just let's just go with the Kiwis. I think I'm oh, okay. a New Zealander. That's a good yeah. one. <laughs> um, pick from these superpowers: 
Flight, Super Strength, Invisible, or ESP? Oh, God, not ESP. No. <laughs> I don't yeah, want to know what, what people are thinking. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. Flight, what's the second one? Uh, flight, Super Strength, Invisible, or ESP? Flight, because I get tired of having to drive everywhere. Well, here's the thing, though. Uh, this is a trick. This is a trick question. You can fly, but you fly at the same speed that you walk. So well, that's <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you can skip traffic, you know. It's easy on your feet. Wow, look at me yeah. go. <laughs> like uh, like Chris Angel, you know, he just kind of comes up a little bit. Hovering. <laughs> great, great trick, Chris. You hopped slow. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I want to thank Songs of the Folk for being on the show. That's the third of three episodes, so... I'm going to miss having them on the podcast, but maybe we can do it again sometime. Make sure to go and follow them at songsofthefolk.com and make sure to search your streaming services, uh, including Apple and Spotify, for their new single called Nice and Slow. That's the first song you heard on the podcast episode tonight or today. I don't know when you're listening. And actually, when I'm recording it, it's not tonight. So I don't know why I said that. Anyway, look for WNC Original Music wherever you get your podcast or go to WNC originalmusic.com and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for lots of extras including videos uh, and then we'll have a couple of videos from this uh, episode as well. There's starting to be a lot more live music being played, live and local music, so if you can safely go out and enjoy some live music. In the meantime, make sure to support your local artists by buying their music online and uh, purchasing their merchandise or just going to their Patreon pages or similar tip jar type pages or sites and supporting them uh, monetarily. For our closing song tonight, we have a tune from Eric Case. Eric is a singer-songwriter from Chicago, Illinois. And if you don't know this already, the best way to get your song on the podcast, if you're not from Western North Carolina, is to name your song about uh, North Carolina. Or I'm from a little town in North Carolina called Wilson. So if you want to write a song called Wilson, that would be even better. I play that like three times on one episode. But anyway, this song is called Carolina. It appears on Eric's latest release, Sweet Relief, and it's available on Apple Music and Spotify. And also you can find him on Facebook.com slash This Is Eric Case. This is Eric Case. Have a good week. Carolina, don't you call my name. No, I'm never going to be the same. Carolina, don't you bring me the sun don't shine and the moon turns black Cause I don't really want to know at it's time Carolina, don't you say a word Saying nothing that I haven't already heard Carolina, don't you sing that song just pack your things and move along To your crooked coastal plains and the pines Oh yeah Cause I, I, I don't wanna go
as I lay my body in the cool gray ground. Oh. And then one time a bird built a uh, bird's nest in my sun visor, like, <laughs> like overnight. 